everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Um, I'm sort of standing in um, a different spot in my room uh, today because um, I'm, I'm nursing a recovering pixie. She's recovering from surgery and she's in a spot where she's comfortable and also, uh, so I didn't want to set up somewhere and have her be tempted to move to try to get closer to me <laughs> so I'm standing near her she's she's I don't know if you can see her there she's there <laughs> um and I don't want her she can't jump and she's not supposed to run around so I want to be able to grab her if she starts to move around after if the other dogs move other dogs are over there <laughs> um so I thought I would take advantage of the quiet time to do a video at least one video um, showing the one of the new patterns the um, bloom boom and some bloom boom navy um, the patterns that are out now and uh, I just thought I'd show give a rundown of some of the just the few items that I have in in them <laughs> um, so they're all down here in front of me um, I guess I could start with the cord organizer, which I have just discovered a new use for. Again, with Pixie. I'm using the cord organizer here <laughs> as a, a headrest for her to give her a little boost on her neck because she's stuck in the cone and she seems to be having a little trouble getting comfortable like wanting to put her head down, really rest her head, and she's sort of always holding her head up even though she can't keep her eyes up, or her eye, <laughs> her eye open. Um, she's sort of fallen asleep off of it now, but it was helping before where it's just, just enough of a lift so she can just keep her head there and not have to be supporting her neck. She just puts it down, puts her chin down on it. <laughs> so that's another cord organizer use. She's, I wonder if I could just pull it out to show it. She's sleeping. <laughs> um, I love the cord organizer. This is Bloom Boom. This pattern, uh, when they had the preview, when they first put the preview up on the website and I saw this pattern, I, I just immediately loved it. And then I hesitated you know my thoughts it still hadn't been released yet and I was thinking I'm not sure it's it's kind of a a statement it's a whole lot of big flowers and and whatnot um, but the reason that I was drawn to this pattern is because it reminds me of Back in the day when I, uh, when I was younger, I would go with my parents in the summers to Long Beach Island in New Jersey. It's a barrier island off the coast of New Jersey, and it's just great. And there's nothing like the Jersey Shore. Um, there's something about the, the, the beaches there and the water there. Um, and so... Um, we used to go and we used to stay, this, there was a motel, it's not there anymore, in Barnegat Light, which is at the north end of the island, and uh, was called the Inlet of Breakers Motel, and it was run by this really lovely older woman named Midge, and uh, I remember she used to require all the kids who stayed, with the families that stayed with, you know, stayed there, to draw her, make her drawing every visit and she had all these drawings strung up on a string outside of her office. <laughs> um, anyway, this how this this motel must have originally been like a, a huge single family home and um, it had a deck on an upper floor and um, there were picnic, those big, heavy, clunky wooden picnic tables that they used to have back in the day, and the chairs that went with that, with the big, heavy wooden frames, and the cushions that were sort of covered in this sort of coated material, you know, like coated cotton or co some kind of coated fabric. Um, so they had that kind of picnic tablecloth 
texture and they all had these big floral prints like this. This reminds me of the prints that you would see on those kind of jack chairs back in like the late 70s. And so I just, it reminded me of that time in my past. Ooh, dog hair. <laughs> Where I used to go, you know, to the beach, to the Jersey Shore. And so um, I, that's why I, I love this pattern and it spoke to me immediately. Um, so, and then uh, when it started to release, it came into Hallmark, my Hallmark with like the uh, clipboard folio and the travel mug and nothing fabric, just you know, like accessory type, houseware type, uh, desk accessory type items, and the and the lens cloth, you know, for cleaning your glasses. And those, the colors look kind of muted in those um, items. And so I was starting to hesitate and think, oh, maybe I'm not, I don't know, maybe it doesn't really do it for me after all. But when I started to see the fabric in person, I, I started to fall in love with it again. So um, I am going to be looking for a tote, but I, unfortunately, pattern placement matters for me here because there are a couple flowers that I'm not as crazy about um, in the cotton. I will show them in the fleece, and I don't mind them in the fleece, certain certain variations of the fleece. Um, so anyway, but, but it's just such a beautiful pattern. I mean, this pattern kind of also reminds me of like salad, like lettuce. I think of lettuce <laughs> and like uh, fancy lettuces, you know, um, all this, all these kind of um, green leaves everywhere. And I, I like these undersides of the bulbs that they they're doing like flower buds um, that you see in this pattern I like that a lot I really do love this dark gray background which yeah it does seem to match the background in bloom bloom navy which I'll get to um, but anyway so it's the cord organizer loving all the little details here too and something that I really like about this pattern, which I spoke about in a recent video with the utility tote, is that the quilt stitching is a darker thread color. And it so it really jumps out, especially on certain flowers in particular, really jumps out. And you can really see the quilt stitching over the pattern. And I like that contrast. I'm liking that contrast a lot lately. Oh, there's something kind of modern about it which works nicely to kind of counteract the sort of maybe more traditional look of some of the items, you know, because of the pattern maybe. So here on something like, on a flower like this, the, the contrast with the stitching doesn't jump out as much because there's a lot more line work in that flower, dark line work. Okay, so cord organizer, and I'm just using this when it's not being used as a headrest for pixie <laughs> um, I'm just using it for masks Let's see if I, I do have something else I can show the lining um, better the lining fabric so let me see if I can just wedge this back under her head <laughs> she doesn't seem to really need it right now <laughs> okay so this here is the, I think this is a zip around jewelry case. Let's see. Yeah, zip around jewelry, jewelry folio. I didn't really need this item, although I will find a use for it. I know there are certain things I have in the back of my mind that I could use this for. But I just, when I saw this, this is my favorite flower in the pattern of this yellow. I'm not as crazy about the, the darker pink in this pattern because it's veering a little too close to Pepto Bismol pink for me, um, but this yellow, uh, just love this yellow, and this very pale. It's not. It's it's looking kind of beige here, and I guess it's sort of beigey, but in person it has a slightly lavender cast to it. So it's almost like a dove gray. It de there's definitely a warmth in this that it's not looking like just gray sorry I was peaches shaking <laughs> um, it has a little bit of a lavender very pale kind of lavender tint 
and it's beautiful. Um, this too, not just, yes, it's a sort of a light gray, but it almost has like a lavender tint to it. Slightly different tone than the one on the other side though. I don't know. Yeah, you can sort of see they are different. And a little less, a little less gray in person. So inside this item, of course, you get this chamois kind of zipper thing and you get all this organization. This is the uh, lining fabric, which I think they're calling Kinda Catherine. It's a takeoff on a, a, an older vintage pattern. And Catherine, I think it was called Kath, just Catherine. I'm not sure about that. Um, and they do have some items out now where this is the exterior and they are reintroducing, at least for right now, some trim. And when I say trim, I'm not talking about the piping. Um, I, I'm talking about the, tr the bands of trim that you used to see in the vintage item. So it's on the cr bucket crossbody bag, and it's on the duffel, and it's on that. They have that kind of hobo-looking thing that con converts into a backpack um, that looks very much like a lug zip, zip line, I think the lug one is called. Um, <laughs> It's kind of funny how these two brands are sort of copying each other left and right. Um, and so they've they've introduced a, a, a strap, a strip of that uh, trim, which is nice because it makes use of these, it's sort of like this fabric and then it makes use of the butterflies. So it's really great. What I'm a little frustrated with is that they didn't put it on a Vera tote, you know, like they have been, like you have on Hummingbird Park or you have Foxwood or any of the number of the past Vera totes that have had some trim running down the sides. Um, <clears throat> I was very excited to see that trim being used. It's something that we had a lot of us in the Insiders Focus group have been requesting and posting about that we wish would come back. But I'm a little disappointed in the way it's being used because I think that the way it's being used makes the items look too dated. And so I'm a little concerned that they're not going to take off well, um, especially with maybe a younger customer base. And uh, then Vera Bradley is going to just forego the whole endeavor, and um, it's not even going to get off the ground. And so I'm a little concerned about that. See, that, that's what was good about the Vera tote with the trim on the side, is that it was modern looking. It wasn't dated looking. But when you slap trim, this is a very dated looking pattern. Um, it is. It's basically like their vintage pattern. And when you slap trim on it, especially in certain locations on a bag, the bag looks dated. And I think that the bucket bag with, in Kinda Catherine with the trim running around the bottom looks dated. And so I will, you know, I was so excited to see that at first, but I don't want that bag because it looks dated because of this fabric primarily. So it's not a good combination, you know, it, of, it looks kind of like this. But the, the, main, <laughs> the main fabric of the bag is this. And that's, that's an old-fashioned looking pattern. So I think that's really unfortunate. I think they should have put this on the Bloom Boom Navy tote as trim. That would have looked modern. Um, or maybe on this tote as trim. That would have looked modern, uh, running down the sides of the Vera tote. Because the Vera tote is a more modern looking bag. Um, but this, this fabric is very dated. And so when you look, if you go online and you can see the large duffel, they've used the trim on this kind of Catherine with the, the trim running down at the two ends. And it does look very dated um, to an old school Vera Bradley duffel. And I do, I am concerned that that will have a limited audience now. So I think they need to, bringing back the trim I think is great. I think they need to modernize how they're thinking about using it and positioning it on their items um, and be careful about which fabric combinations they, they do that with. Sorry, I just heard random dog noises. <laughs> um, because if, if they're, I think if they're not careful, they're going to 
they're not going to pick up the next generation of young Vera users who like the trim, un unfortunately. So anyway, I mean, this is a good lining fabric, but I don't want it on an exterior for me. It's very conservative and traditional. So anyway, I will find a use for this because I do love that flower. Love the yellow. Yellow is such a good color. It's such a happy color. Okay, so this is the deluxe travel pill case. I think it's something like that. This is an unusual kind of configuration. Um, again, one, I saw the yellow. Love that they're showing sort of the underside. I, I love some of the angles that they're um, drawing these flowers in. Not all head on, not all the front of the flowers. You get a, a sort of like a big bud there. Almost looks like a cotton, right? Cotton or something. I think it's a, a little bit more just the small details. And so this is an interesting item. Wasn't is it something I would use for my travel pill bottles? I have big vitamin bottles, so I need something bigger than this. <laughs> um, but it opens up top like this, and it's perfect for Pixie's medicines. And so that's what I have. I, I, I will show the, it came with little uh, containers, and I'll show those, but I took them all out. They come right out. So I have some stuff in there for her. And then it has this uh, section on the bottom which also have containers that I will show that I took them out. Ooh. And why I like this is that it has this sort of, you know, shallow compartment in here. And she has special uh, measuring spoons because of how little some of her medicine is powder. And she needs a real small amount. So I had to get special, super small. <laughs> so I was surprised I was able to find uh, measuring spoons. And they fit right nicely right in there. So... Uh, okay, and so in, in that, what came in there, in the big top section, were three, three bottles just like that. They're plastic. I could try to find something, and the top just pops off. Um, doesn't screw, it's not a screw top. And then the bottom had... I think it had three of these and I only see two. Oh no, there's three. They had three very shallow plastic rectangular containers and the top doesn't come off completely, just, you know, like that these, the top actually comes off. So anyway, so those, I can try to repurpose those or maybe at some point I would want to use them so for right now I'm just keeping them in the small I don't remember what this is called it's from the factory outlet stores maybe small travel cosmetic I don't know <laughs> um, this is lemon grove hold on a second I'll hold it up better <laughs> Uh, lemon lemon grove I showed this in a previous video loving this pattern very happy sunny pattern refreshing refreshing pattern okay so um, that was that the deluxe travel pill case something like that <laughs> I got a readers eyeglass case because again I saw the yellow I like to this this like this. Love this grass green that they're using. And even the bottom is you know nice little details. Love this stuff in this lighter gray sort of dropping out on the background, uh, the dark gray background. This is a gray background. Um, then I got this, the laptop sleeve, because this is one of my other favorite flowers in here. I, I just love that flower. I think it's gorgeous. And not too many um, pink flowers. This is the flower I really don't like in the cotton. It's not so bad on the fleece, uh, at least on the fleece that I have. This is the back. But again, a nice overall look at the pattern, I think. You know, 
and you can see that contrasting stitching. This is the, uh, if I didn't say it, this is a laptop organizer. It has just one compartment, main compartment, and then this compartment here with some slip pockets, various sizes and pen slots and things like that. I'll never use them for pens. I will never put pens or anything hard in here against my laptop. I just won't do it. And I, I have found that this, well, probably not with bigger laptops, but with my smaller, my small laptop, this will fit in this, in my backpack, even in the, um, the laptop section, sort of cram it in. So it's a lot, a lot of nice, like padding protection. So laptop organizer. And I'm really just also liking the, you know, the different greens together there. So, you know, if you looked at a color wheel, I'm always talking about the color wheel, um, you know, you would have some contiguous colors that are next to each other on the uh, color wheel. So that's sort of like an analogous part of the color scheme, and it's very pleasing because it's similar colors. So you would get like yellow going into this sort of grass green going into the darker green and those colors are all sort of together on the color wheel and then you've got the colors that fall sort of like uh, more opposite that the orange the pinks so that's from a different section of the color wheel and gives you a nice contrast but I don't it's coming out lighter on my screen right now um, but I'm not crazy about this pink in person it just is too like it's approaching Pepto Bismol pink a little too much for me. It's a little too raw for me. However, <clears throat> one other thing that I did get was this um, decorative, it's called a decorative throw pillow. It's fleece, so it feels kind of like the throw blankets a little bit. Um, and it's a little bit paler um, to me than the cotton. Now I, I have looked in Hallmark at the throw the actual blanket which is also gorgeous but seems a little bit more vivid a little bit more inky like the, the printing of the, on that throw um, I still I still is appealing to me I still would like to get that if it ever goes on sale but um, but on the pillow this is very pale I don't know if you can yeah I see you can see a difference there it's very pale I know it's not the exact same flower but um, it'd be the same kind of color There it is again, there's that pink. That. I don't know if that's the same flower, it's not the same flower. Um, and so that pink is just much lighter in this and, and much more appealing to me. And again, I just love that big yellow flower. That's pretty too, that sort of daisy look with the, the white and the yellow. I don't know if you can hear the snoring, that's Pixie. We'll see. When I do the playback of this video, I have to see if you can hear <laughs> if it picked up the snoring. <laughs> this is a pretty flower, too, those bands of, of color. And again, just very nice. I love this. I love the way they're doing, showing the underside. So it really feels like you are down in this like field of flowers, almost like you've sh been shrunk down, like you're a little fairy or something, and this is your habitat, right? Something very whimsical about it, very, I don't know, like Lord of the Rings, <laughs> the Shire. <laughs> uh, for a while there, they were playing that, the original, you know, the three, the original, the Lord of the Rings movies on, I don't know if it was TNT or TBS, like all the time. And I just loved watching them. And now it's like they never play them anymore. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm missing my Vigo uh, Morganson. Uh, uh, is that his last name? Mor Morganson? I, you know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm missing Vigo. I need my Vigo fix. <laughs> anyway, do I really do uh, like this. It's very pretty. And it feels good and it's soft and it's a good... It came... It wasn't just the cover. It came with the pillow insert. And it's, it's a... It feels good. It feels like it's decent quality and not crunchy. And doesn't feel like it has bits of you know like uh, packing peanuts in it. it doesn't feel like that 
<laughs> and it is removable. The cover, I haven't done this, but there is a zipper here. There's a, a zipper here. And so you can remove the cover and wash it. So that's that. And now, so I haven't gotten too much in um, Bloom Boom Navy just because I really wanted a large, the regular size Vera in it and they are not making that. I just, I mean, like, what the hell? <laughs> so there's the small Vera tote and there's the Glenna. And uh, maybe I can talk about this more if I do a video on my uh, a Glenna that I just got recently. Um, but the, the new Glennas, now that they've gone to recycled fabric, they've sort of tweaked the shape and the dimensions of the Glenna a little bit, and it's smaller in certain ways, um, narrower, and the strap drop is a, a little bit different and shorter, and um, doesn't work for me. I was looking at it in a store recently. It's because I was thinking this, Bloom Boom Navy, and the Glenna looks super pretty. I think it's a really good combo of pattern and style because they're both very feminine style bag is feminine and the pattern is feminine but that's not going to work for me that bag is too small so i was thinking about maybe the bucket bag but i don't really like it enough and i have one and i feel like that's enough for me i wanted it in the vera tote i might consider getting a small vera tote if i'm desperate but i feel like it's a little this is such a traditional kind of pattern such a feminine pattern that i think it needs a big honkin square vera tote to kind of modernize it otherwise it just becomes too traditional too almost dated looking um i do love any pattern with butterfly you know critters and so i just think this is a great pattern love the butterflies there and again those blades of grass which i talked about when i would show the test item that i had in this pattern so i think you can see here that the background in person this looks has the whole thing has a sort of a cooler blue kind of cast to it but the, to me the background is still gray it is not navy um, you know for me something that's navy has to read as navy you can't have a question about it and it's not navy This is very pretty too. This has got these touches here and here of lavender. It's looking a little gray here, but you can see it's lavender. Love that. Love lavender. I have a, a weakness for lavender because it's my mother's favorite color. And I also think that it's very flattering for certain skin tones, especially mine, which is kind of olivey, kind of sallow. And so, you know, pastel colors kind of help. Um, cool pastel colors kind of help sort of counter the yellow in my skin, the yellow cast in my skin. So I just love those green blades of grass. And so funny thing about this is the turn lock. And I, for the longest time, I was looking at the website and it always said out of stock. And I was thinking, well, sometimes it says out of stock before they've actually gotten their shipment in. Um, sometimes it says coming soon, but sometimes they'll, throw something up there in a preview or something and it'll say out of stock because they haven't even ever gotten it in yet. And then that changes when they actually get their merchandise in. And so that's what I was thinking. And then I thought, this has been a long time. I wonder if maybe I missed it. Maybe it was on the website and it just really did sell out. And so I started to panic. I, I don't know, <laughs> but I started to panic. And so I went online, I'm looking at the paper stores. Let me just see what they have. And the paper store and Wilkins and Olander, I think that's the name of it. That's where I ordered one from because I was panicked that, oh, I had missed it. Okay, other places, have retail outlets have it, but it's out of stock on the Vera website. Maybe they've sold out, so I better get it while I can. <laughs> Self-induced Vera panic. So I went online to Wilkins and Olander. I think it's Olander. Is that what it's called? Um, anyway, people know what I'm talking about. And I love ordering from them. I don't order from them that much, but every now and then they'll have something that's out of stock on the website, so it's a good source. And um, out of stock on the Vera website. And usually with an order, they'll send you a free pen, and they have the greatest pens. 
it's just these really nice ballpoint pens that they will give out for free and so I'm always excited like more excited for the free pen than anything else um, anyway so I ordered one and uh, then I went to my Hallmark to get a card and I saw that they had some of these just one or two in stock and so that was this one they had this one and I thought oh well look at that good right side up butterfly how can I I better not risk it you know because I don't know what I'm getting from the one that I ordered and I might not like it I might have to return it might not have any butterflies I mean the, this pattern is good in the sense that there are more butterflies they're space space closer together which is good something I had always been complaining about is that the critters are too far apart and you could easily get an item with nothing on it and it's fr very frustrating when you're shopping um so anyway i bought this loaded it up then my my wilkins and olander one came and that's this one and i feel like it's still good upside down this one's upside down but you know that one's right side up and that's nice and then there's one on the back so i just decided i'm going to keep them both because this way I'll have one when one wears out. Uh, you know, I don't know what the, I don't know how this fabric is going to wear. It's recycled fabric and I'm not convinced. I I'm concerned that it might not wear, last as long, it might not wear as well as the new cotton. Um, but we'll see. But anyway, so now I have two in case I lose one or God forbid I lose my wallet. But <laughs> um, anyway, so you can just sort of see how, the, the butterflies are sort of closer together, so uh, easier to find decent butterfly. And it doesn't bother me when something is upside down. To me, what's more important here in this kind of a pattern, because to me, this pattern doesn't really have a direction. And as long as the butterfly is right side, is complete, you know, it's nice to get a complete one um, in certain, you know, spots. So, um, I'm okay with it being upside down and this kind of a pattern doesn't bother me because that's how it was designed. That's why it doesn't look awkward. That's why it doesn't look weird because it was designed that way. So that's that. And then I did see, I thought, well, this is risky, right? You don't to order. This would be a little bit more challenging. And I was, It was challenging. I was looking in stores and I'm having trouble finding a zip ID with a butterfly um, or, you know, one that wasn't too badly cut off. This is a deluxe zip ID and you can see it's cut off and that was the best I could find at the time. There is one sort of through the window, which is nice. And I like to use these for photos, this, this double side, double, you know, you could use this, have photos showing on both sides. So I like that. Um, and then there are these card slots here and a zipper up top, you know, so, uh, sorry, there's Peaches, I don't know what she's doing, um, anyway, it opens up and snaps, pin snap closer, so deluxe zip ID and regular zip ID, and you can see the difference in the stitching, this has macro square quilting, this has a regular quilt square quilting, and so I did see this later on, I can't remember where it was, and I thought that's a little bit better butterfly, so I'll grab it. Again, hard to find the butterflies. Um, so it was a nice look at the lining too, sweet lining. So I, mean, I definitely use this. I've already used this when I was at my dad's last time. We would go out with Pixie and I wanted a, my ID and some cash and maybe one credit card and just stuff it in a pocket. I didn't. I wanted my hands free. I didn't want a big bag because I was dealing with Pixie and carrying her and stuff. So I think that's it. That was it. All of my bloom boom <laughs> and bloom boom navy items so far. Um, I'm not going to say that's all I'm going to be getting because I'm so in love with this pattern. This one, I mean, I love them both, but this doesn't come as many items that I would want. But this, I'm in love with this, reminds me of my Jersey Shore vacations and good memories. And so I'm, I think it's going to be hard to resist uh, getting more stuff in it. Anyway, I hope people found that helpful and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.